Buddy, Mark Spark the Comics, and I'm back. This time, I want to show you my recent comic pickups and a contest win. If you want to see what books I got, stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. Like I said, I ended up picking up you know, a few books, went to a couple comic shops, um, spent a little bit of money, and um, I got that, and I also got a recent contest one from Hoarders High, Scott's channel. Um, so I'll start off with the comic pickups for the week, and then I'll finish up with the unboxing. All right, so I had a little bit of time the other day, went to a shop in downtown Denver. I've been there before, Mutiny Comics, great shop ever in the Denver area highly recommend it it's a comic shop and a cafe um, so I picked up four books there and I'll show you what I got so first up I got Strange Academy issue number 16 um, this was just uh, I guess recently announced that it, you know some key appearance in here I can't think of what it is off the top of my head but um, they did have a couple of these there in the back issue bins for cover price so I ended up picking up two of these. There you go. All right, so I had to look these up real quick. And this is kind of what happens after you, uh, you're you live streaming and then you uh, start recording. And kind of like uh, you lose the age, start driving your memory. But <laughs> I just finished uh, live streaming on uh, Tony's channel, Old Wolf. And we were all drinking, so we were having a good time. But uh, I decided to make a recording. So I looked up the book. And um, this is the uh, first appearance of Howie. He's like um, uh, a younger like werewolf. Not sure if he's related to Werewolf by Night or not, but um, this is the uh, character's first appearance. And um, the other book that I was kind of surprised to find there, and uh, this was Strange Academy, issue number 13. And this was the cool uh, Unlucky 13 as they uh, describe there on the uh, Marvel uh, corner there. And this is the, uh, it's like a first like brief appearance of uh, Gas Lamp. So it was pretty cool. I've not seen this book in the wild before. I've, I've gotten the uh, regular 13, um, like cover A, but not the uh, unlucky variant. So that was pretty cool. So I picked that up. This was all for cover price. And uh, the other book I picked up there, I was just looking through the back issue bins and uh, I ended up finding a, uh, my second copy of Ultimate Comics, Ultimates number two. This is the first print. Um, you've already seen the video prior, which I have the second print as well. This is the issue when Reed Richards becomes the maker. Has a little, little bit of speculation uh, going into the uh, multiverse uh, of madness, Doctor Strange film. So, well, we'll see. So, I picked those up at that comic shop, put these aside. All right, and then I went to a second comic shop, and these books you might have seen already from um, Steve's channel, Burke, 50, uh, Burke Family 54 Comics, when we were live streaming, you know, pickups of the week, but um, if you didn't, you're going to see them anyways. So, uh, picked up at a second shop, uh, Nova, issue number 11, and I got three copies got these all for cover price and if you're not familiar you know I'm a big fan of characters first meetings first you know battle first whatever um, this is the first appearance or the first meeting of Sam Alexander with Richard Ryder the two Novas so cool book it's going for about I don't know 15 20 bucks so I thought these were a pretty good pickup and I've said this many times before, a big fan of last issues. So ended up picking this up for three bucks. And this is Nova issue number seven. Um, last issue on this limited run. And uh, you get like a little cameo of Venom. Pretty cool. I like the cover. So I picked that up for three bucks. Um, 
this shop ended up having a ton of you know spawn and savage dragon i like to pick up some of these scarcer image um, comics from those runs when i can find them this shop had quite a few but um i was kind of like stuck on this one which i ended up getting as well for five bucks and this is savage dragon issue number 216. If you're not familiar with the uh, savage dragon or some of the uh, spawn titles um once you got over to like issue 100 and um you know both spawn and savage dragon they were the print runs were significantly decreased and uh, this is like i said 216 and um this is actually a crossover with the spawn uh series and um yeah so it crosses over with spawn 265 and 266. so um this if i'm not mistaken had a print run of or at least books ordered less than 4300 so this is very limited um it does go for a decent amount of money i think it was at least 30 bucks last sold but um i was happy to get this for five bucks so that was a pretty cool cool buy and uh, the shop owner was really nice he ended up giving uh, my son a couple of lego sets to play with star wars related which is really cool he's gotten a nice little kick out of that and i was doing some more hunting and um looked at some of their wall books and I found this for 25 bucks, which I thought was a pretty good deal. And this is Fantastic Four, issue number 65. And it says, uh, Ronan, I accuse. So this is, if you're not familiar with this issue, the first appearance of Ronan, the accuser. Um, he has obviously already appeared in the MCU. Um, who knows if he can, if he'll end up reappearing in the uh, a future project or not. Who knows? But I was happy to pick this up regardless for 25 bucks for a nice little cheap, um, you know, established key on a wall. So I was like, all right, 25 bucks. Can't go wrong with that, you know. So, and if, you know, it's a great Kirby cover and uh, Stanley writing. So now I'm going to open up a package I got from Scott Hortis Hyde. I ended up winning on his... Uh, recent subscriber giveaway he ended up going live and he gave out a few different you know really cool uh, prizes including this really nice statue but um i ended up winning one of the earlier prizes and if i'm not mistaken this was a golden age book which is really sweet don't remember offhand i think it was a dell book so open this up Pretty quickly, and I'll show you guys what I got. So, uh, got this Hoarder's Hide sticker, which is going to go on my uh, my little traveling uh, short box. And uh, here's the book. So it is. Uh, yep, like I said, it is a Golden Age book. It's. Um, Just open this up. It is a. Uh, is this a Dell four color? I forget. I forget what these are. If they're four four color or not, it's, it's usually up to a certain number. But um, here it is. This is Dell number three thirty nine. So it says Walt Disney's Donald Duck and the Magic Fountain. Ten center. Very cool book. I like how you have that little mountain there in the backdrop. And you see, uh, you know, I think it's Huey and Louie. Huey, Louie, and Louie, I forget. <laughs> Huey, Louie, and Dewey. There we go. With uh, Donald Duck. The um, only reason I know these is because I've read so many different uh, Donald Duck and uh, Disney stories to my son. So that's how I know these characters by name. <laughs> well, this is a really cool book. Um, thanks, Scott, for, the, uh, for giving this out. Really cool. Like I said, I love these Golden Age books. And uh, that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys thought. And until next time, Marks with the Comics. Out.